What's on YouTube? It's Pete TT back at it with a, another video. Today, guys, we are going to be talking about how to set up OBS and how to stream. The reason I'm doing this is I've had an awful lot of questions asking me how I do it. Thing, everything from your basic setup of OBS Studio to how you get party chat in stream and things like that. PlayStation is a lot more difficult to set up to stream than xbox something i have found out that you know if you're going to stream and you want an easy console to stream from go xbox guys it, it is a lot easier but if you're here and you want to know how to set up your playstation to stream and you are using obs studio you are using something like an elgato uh, i personally am using the hd60 and i am also using a set of astro trs with a mix amp but you don't need all those things. You can do a lot of this very simply. That is what I'm going to show you in this video. So we're going to go through the entire setup. OK, this is aimed from the beginning for people that have never streamed before. You want to look at getting into it. You want to know how to set the entire thing up. The day I'm recording this 2017. So it is an updated video because a lot of the videos I see on YouTube currently are very outdated and a lot of updates to OBS and things like that actually change how you work some things. So let's start off from the very beginning. OK, first of all, what you're going to need to do, guys, is download OBS Studio and download the Elgato software. I will leave links in the description box down below to the two websites you need to go to so that you can download both of these. Now, I'm assuming that you know how to set up your Elgato. It's basically two HDMI cables. One goes to the PlayStation and goes into the Elgato. The other one comes out of the Elgato and into your TV or monitor. Then you connect the USB from the Elgato to the computer. So yeah, get the Elgato set up, get it into the system, get the software downloading for OBS Studio and Elgato in the background. Now, why you are doing that, there are some very important things you actually need to do on the PlayStation setting side of things for anything to be able to work. Okay, if you don't do these, then you can go through every other step that I will tell you and none of it will work properly because of PlayStation's built-in copyright system. So head to your PlayStation, head to settings, head down to system settings. There you will see two boxes. One says enable HDMI device link and one that says enable HDCP. You want to make sure that both of these boxes are unchecked. Okay, if they've got a tick in them, untick them. Like I said, if you don't do this, guys, then the PlayStation copyright software will kick in and it will not let Elgato function. So make sure both of these boxes are unticked. For me personally, when I first tried to set up the PlayStation, this is what took me days to figure out like why it wasn't working is because I had both of these boxes ticked and it wouldn't let Elgato do what it needed to do. Next then, You've got the PlayStation system setting done. Next, you're going to need to set up Elgato. So when it is finished downloading, you need to open up Elgato. So yeah, first of all, open it up and it should look like this. From there, you're going to click the cog next to the game capture, as you can see me do, and this will open up the settings. Now, as we're setting up for the PlayStation 4, make sure that you check your PS4 is the input device, not Xbox, not PC. Make sure it is PS4 input device. Now, depending on what kind of system and rig you're actually going to be using to stream from will depend on what kind of settings you can run here quality wise. So tweak them around from best to better to find out what works for your machine. So like for a reference point of view, I am actually running the best settings on an i5 CPU with 16 gig of RAM. I will leave a list in the description box down below of my system so that you guys can kind of check off against it. I will also leave a link in the description to Twitch's broadcast settings, which will tell you, you know, what your minimum rig should be, what your minimum upload, download and things like that should be to get a quality looking stream. So yeah, I will leave a full link to all of that in the description down below. Once you've selected these settings, then hit OK. Now, with a powerful machine, you can actually stream direct from Elgato to several different sites, including Twitch and YouTube. But we're actually going to cover that in a separate video. So for now, let's head on over to OBS and show you how to set that up. Right. So here we are, guys. We are in OBS. Apologies if it doesn't look the most professional. I know how to stream through OBS. Recording from OBS is something very different. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is set up a scene here on the right. Okay, you can simply go to add 
and then you can type in the name of a scene. So call it PlayStation Stream or whatever you want to call it. Now, oh, I have the display capture here. Don't worry, you guys don't need that. That is simply for me right now so I can record my screen and show you guys how to set it up. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to worry about the settings later. Okay, we can tweak all of them afterwards. For now, what we want to do is get the Elgato into OBS. For this, you're going to hit this little arrow down here in Sources, and you are going to go to Video Capture Device. In here, we are going to call it, I'm going to call mine Elgato 2, because I already have one named Elgato in my main streaming. But yeah, call it Elgato, call it Video Capture, whatever you guys want that will allow you to know this is, you know, your capture card and that's what's going to put the footage from your PlayStation onto the OBS and then stream. And then we're going to hit OK. Now, obviously, I have a webcam as well. You guys, <laughs> funny enough, funny enough, you can see me talking. Um, so I actually have here the webcam. It's picking up on that. I want to change that to Elgato Game Capture HD. So we'll do that and in a few moments it will change this image here and you will basically see what is on the PlayStation screen. There we go. Okay, so that has come up now. Now, I said earlier about the HDCP that you had to uncheck. If you haven't unchecked them, this box will now go black because it will start kicking in the PlayStation copyright software and it won't let Elgato work. So yeah, make sure this is Elgato. You can see it on the back screen here. Then come down to resolution FPS type. At the moment it is set to device default. You go to custom and then here we can select the resolution. So you can have 1920 by 1080 if you've got a half decent machine or if you're running off say a laptop or you know a, a computer that's maybe not the top spec, you might wanna try the 1280 by 720 giving you a 720p stream rather than a 1080. For now, I'm gonna hit 1920 by 1080. We're gonna leave the FPS to match it which is auto selected to 60 frames per second. We can tweak all of that later on in further settings guys. From there, we are going to hit OK in a moment. When I do that, you will see it now comes up on screen, full screen. You can see what I am doing on the PlayStation. If I actually grab the controller and move about here, you can see that, yeah, okay, this is, this is live now. This is exactly what I am doing on the PlayStation is now coming up on OBS, okay? So, what we're gonna do now, I'm actually gonna un tick that one because you won't be able to see anything else that I'm setting up. We will bring it back up later on. Um, eventually guys, the aim is to have a stream looking like this. So we've got our webcam down here. We've got, you know, some notifications. We've got our PlayStation bit in the background. But for now, let's jump back to this one. So from here, we're going to want to add our webcam. And if you don't have a webcam, it's not a problem, guys. Don't worry about it. But if you do have a webcam, you're going to want to know how to set that up. So we're going to go to add. Again, we're going to go to video capture device. We can call this webcam. Again, mine will be webcam too because I already have webcam in a, another scene and we're going to hit OK. From there, it's already selected my webcam. Thank you very much. We want to make sure that the audio output mode is on capture audio only and we're going to hit OK. This now puts um, our Webcam here, um, you're probably seeing it down here as well. This is because I'm recording desktop. Don't worry about it, guys. Again, I told you I'm not I'm not quite a professional at using OBS, but I can help you set it up for a stream. So um, obviously this is quite big, th this webcam box. So what you can do is you can hold the control button on your keyboard and you can resize it. You can make it as big or as small as you want. I personally normally tend to have it quite small, um, but big enough that it, it takes, well, I'm trying to try and look at the cameras over here now. Um, try and set it up so it doesn't take up too much of the screen and things like that. Now, what you can also do if we make this a little bit bigger, okay, so we've, we use control and the left mouse to make things bigger and smaller, okay? However, I don't like, you know, this much of the background showing from my webcam. So if you hold Alt on your keyboard, keep it held down and then use you know left click on your mouse you can actually crop you know however much you want showing so you know i can close all of this right in on me if i really wanted to um and just just have that if i wanted to um, and move that down here and then i could go back to holding control and uh, make the whole thing smaller you know it, it just depends guys on what you want showing if you're running a webcam um and and how you want it set up 
and yeah, there, there's our, our webcam now. So we now have Elgato, we tick that, and we now have webcam. Simple at the moment. Um, so what you want to do is make sure that your webcam is actually above the Elgato. So Elgato always sits at the bottom and the webcam then sits above it and then any overlays that you may have will sit above that. Basically it, it goes in a layering system. So you want your gameplay at the back and then everything else sits on top of that going forward so that you can always see things. If we were to move the webcam below the Elgato, you would never see the webcam. So yeah, there we go. We've now got a webcam. We've now got Elgato in, okay? And let's, let's now look at how we're going to set up our mic, okay? This can work in several different ways. Personally, I am using a USB mic. I am using a blue snowball. But if you're not using an exterior mic and you only have the one mic, or if you're using a webcam, it's a lot better because most mics will be included in the webcam. They may not be a brilliant quality, but they still do the job, okay? So this one here, you can see me talking. This green bar is my audio line, okay? This is this is every time I talk, it comes up. Uh, when we tick Elgato, we actually get another bar that will say um, Elgato 2 here, and that will be your game sound. You can adjust quite simply by, you know, going up and down, and it will adjust, adjust the vo uh, volume. Um, but if we click this little clog, cog, clog, cog here and go to properties, you will see that we can select what input we want to have. So for me, I can pick um, Elgato sound capture, I can pick my webcam mic, or I can use my Blue Snowball. Again, you want to select whatever mic it is you are using. Um, if you're using a webcam, then you want it to be, you know, whatever your webcam is, use the built-in mic for that. If you're using a USB mic like a Snowball or Yeti or any other kind of USB mic, select that one. If you don't have um, an exterior mic, it's not a problem because it will pick up on your audio from your headset. But to get that to work, we actually need to play with some settings in PlayStation, so we will come to that later on. For now though, I'm using uh, an external USB mic, so I'm gonna click Blue Snowball, I'm gonna hit OK, and, and there we have my audio in. So now, we've got Elgato, that's gonna capture our PlayStation screen and put that footage on. We now have our webcam, boom, people can now see us, they can now hear us because we've set up our mic, and obviously we will have the game sound bar in when, when Elgato's clicked here you will get that that bar show up there um, where are we going to next so next we're going to go over to settings and set some of these up because these are some things you need to get right so first of all on your general thing obviously your language and things like that um, I will leave this up for just a second guys feel free to you know pause the video copy these as you see fit I will do it with each tab um, from here, we're going to go on to stream. Now, this is an important one. This one here is your stream key. Okay, you get your stream key from your dashboard on Twitch. You basically copy and paste, uh, copy it from Twitch, paste it into OBS right here. Okay, that will then mean that when you click this little button down here and start streaming, you'll actually stream to your channel. Um, so yeah, really, really important there. Um, make sure you click your server, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, make sure you, you've got a, a good server connection. Depending on what service you're going to here, obviously Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, you can uh, stream to so many different places. You just pick whatever one you want there. On every single one of these though, when you change something guys, you need uh, apply. Obviously it is grayed out here because I haven't changed anything. But if I was to Twitch, let's say there to YouTube, see apply then becomes an option. Um, so whenever you, you swap something, hit apply and then hit OK. OK, when you do that, it will shut it down like it has just done there. Um, and then you simply go back into it and it will have changed your settings. So look, it's actually changed my server settings there. So I can show you how it works. So we're going to go for London, UK, apply. OK, it closes down. We go back into settings. There we go, it's changed it there. Now we go down to the output, okay? There's uh, several different things that you can do in here. So we've got the video bit rate, uh, we've got the encoder software, the audio, and obviously we've got recording here. I can't change the recording stuff at the moment because I am recording and you can't change things why OBS is doing something. So as I'm recording, I can't change the recording settings. If I was streaming, I couldn't change these settings while I'm streaming. Um, 
so yeah I've got a three and a half thousand bit rate um, that's obviously through the machine I've got the x264 software for the encoder you need to make sure that that is the x264 if you have this NVEC here this is okay if you're using OBS to play uh, to, to stream PC gameplay rather than PlayStation but as we're going for a console setup here you want to leave it on that x264 otherwise it won't work audio bitrate I just left at 160 again Pause it here guys, have a look at these, tweak them. The video bitrate might need to change depending on your internet connection, um, your computer specs and things like that. But again, there'll be a link in the description box down below. It will take you to the Twitch broadcast settings page. Uh, that will show you kind of the different video bit rates you need if you want to run a 720 stream if you want to run a 1080 stream basically you keep changing you, you know you've got um, different brackets so a lot I know the 720 streams between like 1800 and 2500 bit rate from 2500 upwards will give you a 1080p stream um, that just comes down to how your system is to, to what you can do so yeah there we go that is that one set up um, audio is pretty simple in here again as you can see my mic here is picked up as blue snowball these are disabled here default will always stay on your desktop audio stereo these are all the same here I don't change any of these settings on here um, the video one here then again I can't change it because I'm actually doing something in the background but you want to make your base canvas and output canvas 1920 by 1080 that will give you a 1080p stream or you can change it to I think it's 1280 by 720 again when you click this little arrow here when you're not doing something um, you guys are setting this up will be able to, to click on these and change them there's one where the second number here rather than 1080 is 720 if you want to have a 720p stream because you know you've not got the best internet or your computer is not brilliant you can select 720 but make sure both of these are exactly the same the FPS then here I've got mine at 59.94 um, that will obviously be 60 frames per second but you can drop that down to the 29.94 and give you a 30 frame per second stream you don't need the 60 FPS if you're running from console because by the time it gets compressed onto Twitch and then used it's a 30 frame per second stream anyway because that's what the consoles are I have the 60 FPS there because I do bits on, on the computer as well and I just basically use the same settings for everything so yeah when you've done all that guys you can hit, literally hit OK and hit apply on all of these you can set up um, hotkeys so that when you're actually in stream you know you can hot for me it's control alt f1 f2 start and stop the stream i can record by hitting control alt r and then r again will stop it uh, and i can swap between different scenes depending on what i am doing so yeah there you go so you, you now have all of that set up so you you know we're now when we tick our gato here you can see that we've got our um our, our playstation screen in the background and you'll be able to hear now what is going on on the PlayStation. If I get the controls here, as I move, you know, you can hear the, the sound from the PlayStation feed because we've set up a mic and things like that. And you have the webcam. In. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to a site called Stream Apps. So if I actually close that one off, and you can see me again. Um, so we're going to go to a website called Streamlabs and again you'll, I'll actually have a link in the description down below here. This is a brilliant site, it gives you so many different things. You can have an alert box for your stream, um, you can have goals, event list, you can have donation um, goals across the top of the screen, you can set up a, a chat box. You can do so many different things with this. Like Personally the only one I use is the alert box, um, sorry the event list. I use the event list and the alert box okay so we're going to go through setting those up now in case you want to have them on basically as you can see here uh, what the um, event list does is whenever someone follows you subscribes to you if you're a partner or an affiliate or hosts you it will come up and show it on screen so we're actually going to click to show this URL here okay and we're going to uh, we're going to copy that link there now we're going to go back to OBS and in here we're going to add a browser source okay we're going to uh, I'll leave this as browser source and we're going to hit okay you will see that it will come up with this screen here okay this is just your standard one we're going to want to do is select this here and paste in the URL that came from the Streamlabs okay then you're going to hit okay and then it will bring you up if we move that over here you can see here are all of your followers so now if we put our gato back on there you go you will now see that all of our followers are here if i go back and actually do a test follow you will see it now says ptt followed 
So yeah, it's pretty cool because it means as you're watching stream, it will automatically come up and recognize followers, subscribers, hosts, anything like that. It will automatically recognize them, put it on screen and you can then say thank you. Other people know they're there. You know, your mods can say thank you and, and things like that. And again, you can add in any single one of these guys here. If you wanted to add the alert box in, while there's a load of settings and things that you can change, and I can do another video on that at a later date if you guys need it, you simply just copy and paste uh, this URL here um, into OBS. If I turn Elgato off for a minute, again, back to browser source. Um, we can add in another one there. We will leave that one there. If we go back to this one and we go to a test follow, you will see that we now get a pretty swanky notification and this can be put anywhere you want on screen. Now obviously this is particular to mine because I've changed the settings, I've uploaded you know, personal images uh, and changed the colour of text, all of that kind of thing you can do um, through these settings here. Okay, What we're going to do now, that's the basic OBS um, setup, if I actually tick this back again, okay, so we've now got, again, we've got PS4 screen there, we've got the webcam there, we've got an event list on screen, that is, you know, a pretty basic setup in here, again, you can hear me. If you want to get party chat into the PlayStation stream without having a second mic, okay, a lot of the older videos talk about, oh, you must have a second mic, you know, you've got to have two mics, one for you, one for chat. You don't need that, guys, if you've got a half-decent headset. If you're running like Astros or Turtle Beaches, anything like that, anything that's a good headset, you don't need to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our settings again, and we're going to come down to devices here, and we're going to come to audio devices. Now, currently, because I am using Astros, it has my input device as Astros and my output device as Astros as well. If you have the headsets that plug into the bottom of the controller, it will actually say something like headset connected to controller for At the moment, the way this stands is if I was going to go into a party chat right now, you would be able to hear me. Party chat would be able to hear me, but stream wouldn't hear party chat. So if we actually change the output device to TV or AV amplifier, now, as soon as we've done that, um, stream will hear me. Party chat will hear me, but stream will now hear party chat as well. What you got to remember though, guys, every time you turn the PlayStation off, these reset. So every time you turn your PlayStation back on, if you're going into a party and you're going to stream and you want to have the audio from your party in stream, you need to come to settings, come to audio devices, and change that output device to TV or AV amplifier. Okay? Pretty simple, but you've got to remember to do it. It's something that, that caught me out quite often. I was like, oh, brilliant, I've changed the settings, backed out, go back in. Yeah, the settings are definitely there, brilliant. When you turn the, X uh, the Xbox, when you turn the PlayStation off, it resets all of that, and you have to start again. So, yeah, don't like, don't forget that, that you need to change that up. And that is, like, pretty simple. Um, if we load this up and load the game up now, you'll see in the background, you can see webcam I can actually move the webcam wherever I want I can move these down wherever I want you guys are now seeing gameplay you're now seeing me you're hearing me you're hearing games and things like that if I was in a party you would be hearing the party chat as well and it is pretty much as simple as that guys to, to set up OBS I'm actually going to close the Elgato down for a minute now uh, I'm going to close the browser sources down and I'm going to take the webcam off the screen so yeah, there we go. That That's pretty much a simple version of how to set up OBS quite simply and have a simple stream set up. When you've done all of that and you've uh, you've put your stream key in here, um, whenever you click this button here, start streaming, you will then go live to your channel. Um, you, you will stream to your Twitch channel through your, through, through your PC or your laptop, whatever you're using. You will have game sound you will have you know a webcam if you've got a webcam you will have your voice you will have party chats voice it, it's a really simple thing to set up when you know how to do it um but again if you don't know how to do it it can be a, a bit of a pain in the ass so yeah there we have it guys i hope you found this helpful i know it's probably not the most professional of um you know recordings showing you how to do it that's because i'm not an expert on how to use obs to record the computer as I'm doing things. I, I know there are a lot of videos out there, but I don't use it that much, hence why I haven't bothered to learn how to use it. 
Um, so yeah, there you have it. That that is OBS. If you've got any questions, then ask me in the comment section down below. I will do my best to help you. I will gladly jump into a PlayStation party with anybody, talk you guys through how to set certain things up if you're struggling with a certain something if you're having trouble you know you're having laggy streams or anything like that i can come in and help you tweak your settings and things like that for that just let me know your psn details in the comment section down below let me know what you need help with and as i get time i will do my best to be able to help you out now if there's anything else you want to know how to set up guys let me know again i will do my best to try and talk you through different um notifications and, and adding things into stream when you've got the the basic setup and things there but yeah like i hope you found this helpful if you did please drop a thumbs up subscribe to the channel it would help me a great deal share the video about let me know how i can improve my own videos <laughs> if any of you guys watching this actually know how to use obs to record a computer screen you could be doing me a big favor by letting me know how to do it but yeah there we have it guys i hope you found it helpful if you did let me know thank you very much for watching and yeah until the next video i'll catch you all soon